Hello, my people. Welcome to another psychic reading on Kanye West. I think we did a psychic reading, a live one on Kanye, maybe a few weeks ago, or maybe maybe a few months ago, two or three months ago, maybe at the most. So um, here we are again. Um, he's getting backlash for making some anti-Jewish uh, comments. He's being dropped by you know different fashion labels and you know. Uh, certain banks and you know certain you know business connections so it's just a lot going on with Kanye so I want to see what lies for him ahead and then I have one more other question I want to get into for him so this might be a long one this might not be a long one we'll see sit back grab a snack thank you for being here I'm Lamar Townsend I'm a psychic and energy channeler a tarot reader and an astrologer I am also available for personal reading so if you would be interested in a personal reading do not hesitate to reach out. You can call me um, or <clears throat> preferably text me at 703-791-9162. You can also email me. The best place to get a reading from me, though, is to just directly go ahead and visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. That is the best place to reach me. So all phone readings do have same day priority. All other readings do take one to three days or less, depending on how busy I am. All right. Um, so this is my website. Once you've reached this page, and you know you're on the right page. All right, so you can scroll down, check out my Twitch page, my YouTube, my Patreon, where I do exclusive content, and my podcast on Spotify. You can also scroll down and read rev reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. And of course, follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook. If you would like a reading, just go directly to the store section of my website. Once again, this is where you can go to view all the rate services, products, classes, candles, and different types of things that I do offer. And I do offer quite a lot. I do email readings. I do phone readings. I do video recorded readings where you send your questions. And then I record myself answering your questions uh, on my own time via the tarot cards and things of that nature. Um, I also do birth chart readings. I do candles. I do past life readings. Um, I also do mediumship readings if you want to connect to the spiritual realm. Anyone in the spiritual realm. I do dream interpretation reading. I, I do tarot classes, astrology classes. And so much more. So if you'd be interested in any of these things, once again, do not hesitate to reach out to me at LamarTownsendTarot.com. And welcome to the show. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say. Let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong. This tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong. This tarot card reading about to be long. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. All right, the psychic with a T, that's me. Okay, guys, if you hear any background noise, please ignore it. Um, I have some spell or spell work going on in another room, and I have some um, meditation music playing um, in in the the room where all that's happening. So. Please ignore any background music. Luckily, it's music I made myself, so we shouldn't be demonetized, all right? So we should be good from that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it, you guys. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. As you guys know, I like to cleanse my cards first thing, especially if I'm going to be planning to use them, all right? Um, because I do use my cards every single day, whether I'm reading for other people, myself, or what so have you. Thank you for cleansing, clearing my energy. This deck when you pass reading, amen, amen, amen. 
so the energies can sometimes get a bit mucked if you're not careful so let's go ahead and get into that so the first question i have for kanye is what's going on with kanye right now because i'm seeing so many different theories online you know showing up especially on youtube people saying oh he's a marketing genius people saying he needs help and i'm just like somewhere in the middle like i don't know what's going on <laughs> here at all so i just want to see all right you guys know at the end of the day though i will trust the cards and what spirit has to say period so that's why I'm here. And let's get into it. What's going on with Kanye West? Why is Kanye West saying these anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish? Uh, he also said something about George Floyd. Why is he saying all these remarks? What's going on with Kanye? What, what, what is the, the meaning behind all of these things? Why is Kanye doing these things? I get the Queen of Wands as the first card, so an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, maybe female, could be prominent in some way, shape, or form. In terms of Kanye acting the way he is, I always see the black cat in front of the Queen of Wands as like almost like an omen of some sort. So I think there's a female associated with why Kanye is acting the way he is. Now, could it be Kim? Could it be who? Could it be Chris? I'm not sure. Um, I think Kim's a Libra, right? I don't know Chris's zodiac sign, but once again, they could have fire in their chart. I'm not sure. But, you know, the Queen of Wands also shows up in the placement of leadership. All right? One's expression of their raw energy. So, for some reason, you know, this Queen of Wands is at the helm of why Kanye is acting the way he's acting. I get the Ace of Swords in his placement of money, finances, personal belongings, and personal ownership. So there could be some sort of idea that he has here, overall arching idea, concept he has here. Um, in terms of money, ownership, personal ownership, personal belongings, personal properties. Um, it's just the way he's going about it is interesting. Now, if you look at it, though, this card here, behind the Ace of Swords are these mountains. So it's almost like, could he be moving mountains? in some way that he otherwise would not have been able to move with the way he's acting right now you know because you know kanye is very like um interesting in the way he he thinks i'll say very much an out-of-the-box thinker like i would actually love to do a natal chart analysis on him um and see where that comes from or needle chart reading, basically. Uh, whether I do it live or personal, you know, by the way, I am avail available, Kanye. All right. I get the full card here in the placement of thoughts, communication, the mind. I will say with, you know, him getting dropped by Balenciaga and JP Morgan and all these different types of things. Um, there is a degree based on these two cards... There is a degree of he kind of knows what he's doing. Now, did he expect such backlash or for all the dominoes that are falling to fall? I'm not sure he saw that in the plan or the cards. I think there are certain mountains he had to move. But as a result of moving the mountains the way he did... You know, it's like the whole terrain is now, the whole landscape is now being rearranged in terms of his life, his, you know, his career and things of this nature, if that makes sense metaphorically speaking, right? I do get the sun card and the placement of emotions, family, and my home. One's connected to the mother, mother energy. You know, there is some element where he kind of knows what he's doing because the Sun card can be new beginnings. In this case, it could be for him emotional new beginnings, maybe. New beginnings in terms of starting over, starting life over. Almost. Also get the energy of a spiritual awakening. So it's like he could be going through 
these kind of symptoms or these things new beginning spiritual awakening or these this could be coming in the near future um it does show up the full card is a zero card so this could be anywhere from now with the number zero being here um the sun card here is a 29 card or no a 19 card so maybe zero to 19 days zero to 19 months zero to 19 weeks uh, summertime could be prominent with him too. It's a summertime, man. Some of your, some of mine. It's a summertime, man. You get your summer of the time. He's a summertime, man. Uh, he's a summertime, man. All year round. If you know that song, child, you are an OG. If you know what that song is from, um, or who that song, who sings that song, you're an OG. All right. Okay. <clears throat> or May, June, July could be prominent for him too. Um, I get the nine of swords in his placement of self-expression, creativity, um, connection to his life purpose and higher self. There's something where there's there's things that go on in Kanye's head where it's like it makes sense to him. All the pieces linked together to him in his mind but the way he expresses himself in terms of what's going on in his mind or how he feels about something is what causes the issue it's his actual way of expressing himself that is the issue and i'm almost wondering is this some sort of developmental issue could this be like um or something like that because it's almost like he may not be the best communicator but he may you know he he channels that energy or he expresses himself the best through music or the best through producing or the best through whatever it is right i'm not sure if it's tweeting and and posting opinions and beliefs you know and things of this nature um in a way maybe that's not necessarily creative or in alignment with your purpose in alignment with your higher self that's the issue here all right it's almost like spirit is looking at it like okay yes you know you're saying these things you're believing in these things and maybe some of it's true you know but it's in the way you're saying it that's the issue and they're trying to get kanye to like learn this lesson or learn this kind of um way way of himself way way of himself I get the Ten of Wands. This is not the last of him losing things in terms of work and job. Ten of Wands shows up in the placement of work, job, career, or not necessarily career, but work, job, daily routine. Certain things are going to be rearranged around him, you know, in, indefinitely. Doors are going to be closed. I don't know why I keep feeling like he could have issue with some sort of property as well, possibly, or certain properties. Certain deals that maybe the public didn't know about, you know, that were set to be in motion, canceled, could be canceled. It's literally like the energy of starting over. I get the Wheel of Fortune in his placement of one-on-one -on -one relationships and business partnerships. So, I think having supportive people around him or someone supportive around him in terms of guidance, whether it's spiritual guidance, career guidance, you know... It is what it is. I think they it, it could help him in terms of turning this around. Um, but it would also come down to his professional connections as well. Like who at this point now would be willing to listen to Kanye and be patient with Kanye and, you know, things of this nature. I get the nine of pentacles in the placement of change, evolution, and growth. So ultimately, he may want to have his own, like seek his own personal ownership of his company, his business, or the way he does things. All right. Nine of pentacles is a card of like entrepreneurship, go-getter, self-made. All right. So he could be trying to transition more into this role of being like completely self-made or completely owning everything, like that kind of thing. 
It gives the three of wands on the placement of stepping outside one's comfort zones, optimism, good luck, personal opinions, beliefs. Kanye is playing chess and not necessarily checkers. There's definitely an energy of playing chess, not checkers here with Kanye. There's definitely energy where he knows what he's doing. All right. Um, three of Wands is exercising one's options. Three of Wands is looking to see what's out there on the horizons. All right. Not necessarily making an immediate move. All right. But just looking to see what's out there on one's horizons. So I think he's going to seek other options. I think he has a lot to say. I think he's going to talk about what's happened to him. Um, it's a three card. It could be, you know, something about maybe the next three years. Maybe the months of November, December could be prominent or like moving towards the end of the year into a new year. Um, but he's going to have a lot to say. Get the ten of one or ten of swords in the placement of career, professional destiny, status, and society career. So there's definitely going to be some sort of downfall from grace, possibly that could happen with him. All right, lots of things going against him. Lots of doors being closed on him. Some of them may not ever be opened again. Others, maybe after some time, could be reinvested into. But he definitely put his foot in his mouth here. And it's been an accumulation of things. This also shows up in the placement of karma. This is an accumulation of things, Kanye. I would say maybe over the last 10 years. It's a 10 card, and this uh, card also shows up in the 10th position. Get the two of pentacles in the placement of friends, acquaintances, social groups, unexpected changes. There is going to be a change financially, Kanye, in some way, shape, or form. But I think you kind of knew this as part of your plan. Whatever this plan is. I get the six of pentacles as his last card in, in regards to this first question. Um, okay, ultimately my answer to this is what is going on with him. I think this is a, a part of some sort of plan. Um... I think this deals with ownership. I think this deals with getting paid one's worth or, or receiving one's receive, receiving compensation for one's worth. All right. This is ultimately what this comes down to when it comes to Kanye's behavior. Kanye maybe feels like he hasn't been receiving his 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 worth or his just due, you know, for what he's provided to. I would say the entertainment industry overall. So now it's like, once again, let's play chess, not checkers kind of thing. Maybe actually at the expense of his career, at the expense of making it hard for himself. So I would say there's definitely a degree of here of knowing what he's doing. Okay. That's my answer for that. Let's take a quick palette break, palette refresher child. I have my coffee here. Black, no sugar or cream from Starbucks. Actually, it's Pike Place uh, coffee. My absolute favorite coffee from Starbucks. My favorite drink to get from Starbucks. So, all right. My next question is the topic of this title. What's in store for Kanye for the rest of 2022 and going into the year of 2023? Okay, let's get into my second question on Kanye West. What's in store for him from the rest of 2022 to 2023? By the way, if you're liking this video, please hit the like button. Buy your ticket to the show by hitting the like button. It is free. Thank you. All right. Let's get into the question on Kanye. What's in store for Kanye West for the rest of 2022 going into the year of 2023? What's in store for Kanye West for the rest of 2022 going into the year of 2023? All right. <clears throat> 
The first card I get is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is making your bones, um, kind of sinking your teeth into a project, sinking your teeth into um, a career trajectory or something like that, or a new job. Um, in this case, it shows up in a position of image, one's image, how one sees himself, how other people see them. Um, it's also first impression first impressions one makes you know I think a large part of Kanye Kanye's billionaire status really as we're seeing relied really on his connections to other people and it comes down to how much really worth does does one really have or how much self-worth does one really have you know if you take away this and that connection you know you know, his billionaire status, you know, dropped down to half that significance, right? Or something like that. He's uh, allegedly no longer a billionaire or something like that, you know? So that tells us that a large part of his maybe wealth or what so have you relied on other people. So now it's time to get himself to a place of... Him being a J.P. Morgan, or him being a Balenciago, or, you know, him being an Anna in a wind tour kind of thing, right? I get the Empress showing up here in the placement of money, finances, personal belongings. I keep getting female energy. The Empress could represent a wealthy female, a female in a position of power, could be a decision maker. Um, also could represent pregnancy once again, so I'm wondering, would he get someone pregnant? Um... Get the Ten of Cups and placement of thoughts, communication in the mind, which is family. Family matters. Could he get someone pregnant? Or could we hear him talk about a family, starting a family, or settling down again? All right. Um, Because I feel like in his mind, part of that is what he wants. Like, there's something with the Kardashians where, you know... He already came into them like they are they're already a family a well settled down settled into family you know where you know maybe the main household people go to or live at or frequent is Chris's you know kind of house you know that's my family home you know we grew up here this is you know so and so tchotchkes you know tchotchkes or whatever I don't think Kanye has had that or has ever really had that and I think there's a craving for that. A craving for, I grew up here, or my kids grew up here. You know, kind of thing. This is where I've settled down into, you know, or this is, you know, that kind of thing. This is where I've lived for the past 25 years. Or this is what I've called home for the past 25, 30 years. You know, like that kind of thing, you know. Like, I think he needs that. That would give him structure and grounding, I think somewhere that he could always call home or you know a, a place to call home kind of thing so he may be thinking about these things yeah because i get the temperance card in his placement of home family emotions motherhood maybe also recreating the energy of the mother or kind of the comfort of the mother the mother could be guiding him his mother could be guiding him as well in this direction of settling down you know building a home buying a home whatever it is I feel like whatever home he ends up building or buying, like, there's something about, like, almost being in the middle of nowhere, there being either a lot of woods or greenery around him or both, um, lakes, mountains. Wherever this home is, I feel like this is where he can be creative. This is where he can get stuff done, you know? This is where he can also bring other artists to, to help them build and help them create and produce kind of thing. I also feel like this home, whatever it is, is also where he can kind of create the vivid things he comes up with, his imagination, his Walt Disney kind of mind, you know, that he's described himself as, to kind of practice those things. I get the hanged man here in his placement of self-expression, creativity, his connection to his higher self and higher purpose. We could see him kind of falter, but it could also be in the way of a blame game. Like, maybe not necessarily taking full accountability. 
or it could be taking accountability and realizing okay just because you took accountability doesn't mean you're automatically forgiven or even if you are forgiven doesn't mean everything is going to automatically go back to the way it was before you know actions speak louder than words i think you know there's something that, where there's a lesson here for kanye in that in that in that that vein or that realm you know Get the six of wands in the placement of work, job, health, daily routine. You know, I think if there are any health issues, mental health issues, he will check in or, or deal with those things. I don't know if he checks into some sort of facility, maybe. Rehab, I don't know what type of rehab it would be, you know, but you never know. So, you know, allegedly, the, you know, these are some things. Um, but I think he's also going to trot ahead and move forward with work. I think this is fuel for the fire for Kanye, actually. You know, everything he's he's gone through, you know, lately being dropped by this and that, you know, person and missing that company. I think that this is becoming fuel for the fire for him. Fuel to make a comeback. Fuel to prove everyone wrong. Right? I get the Four of Cups in the placement of um, one-on-one relationships, business partnerships. Four is a, friend, uh, is a card of friends, acquaintances, social groups, unexpected change. He could be a little bit isolated, a little bit jaded by people. He may kind of keep to himself or keep to only a select group of people, a few select group of people. Get the Three of Cups and the placement of change, evolution, growth, and endings. He could partner up as well with other people again. Kanye is about business moves and business matters. I think part of the issue is Kanye either fearing doing it solely himself or fearing... Maybe not having enough support if he does it himself. Like, it's almost like, you know, it's better if I have a Balenciaga or a JP Morgan backing me, you know, kind of thing. Which may be true, may not be true, but there's something where it's also about building a name for yourself, right? You building a legacy. I get the two of swords here. And this placement of um, stepping outside one's comfort zones, personal opinions, beliefs. You know, he could get more into, this is going to be interesting, but he could get more into like, instead of tweet, you know, getting those Twitter fingers like Donald Trump and saying every little thing that comes on his mind, you know, comes to his mind and, and therefore gets him canceled, you know, as we've seen lately. I think he could actually get more into performance art as a way of expressing himself and his thoughts and his opinions. Now I pulled that one out of the rabbit hat, didn't I, or the trick bag, right? But I, I don't know why I get that energy. I feel like he could get into, because with the two of swords, it's like, Swords deal with communication, intellect, the mind. Two is a number that deals with more so emotions, one's inner self. And there's a lot going on in both of those areas with Kanye. But it becomes in this kind of energy, like how can I express myself in a way where I get my point across, but it's more subtle and it reaches the people specifically who it needs to reach. Almost like Britney Spears during the Free Britney era where she was, you know, putting out tweets and like people were trying to decode, well, what is she really saying? Is she saying this or that? You know, it's like that kind of thing. Get the nine of wands in the placement of career, professional destiny, status in society, karma, the past. Um, 
going into 2023 as maybe as we round out 2022 could prove to be a bit difficult specifically the nine of wands shows up maybe around december january or something like that um where it may seem like the light at the end of the tunnel seems far away in terms of kanye's perspective I get that three of pentacles, though, in the placement of friends, acquaintances, social groups, unexpected change. I think he's going to end up collaborating with, you know, other people or someone else. It could end up actually being a better collaboration where his needs are more, more adequately met. So he actually could have and he actually could end up um, creating a deal or, you know, coming up with another collaboration. I don't know why it could be more like a startup, though, or. There's something about startup, independent, like, you know, that kind of, that kind of energy. Get the two of pentacles though. So this is the last card, the two of pentacles. Two is always about balancing things, emotions, family, the home. Pentacles is about practicality, money, finances, work, job, career. Um, so, you know, moving into 2023, things could be up and down. Summertime, maybe specifically though of 2023 could be a good time for him. Maybe, maybe there's some good news being shared or once again, some sort of project he could be developing around that time. Once again, remember I got the Empress card. So maybe a female could be associated with this as well. Um, there's also like, once again, family home energy. So I'm interested to see what shows up around that time for him. Uh, so I see a lot of personal development and growth for Kanye, but there's definitely some hurdle, hurdles in terms of his career. I mean, I think, you know, his past is starting to haunt him in not so much a good way. And um, I think he's going to realize that over this next, you know, year's time, year and some change. So, you know, we wish you the best, Kanye. I think this all comes down to expressing yourself in a better way in a way that's more in alignment with your purpose and your higher self which is creative creativity art inspiration inspiring young people to delve into their creativity like that's when i when i was a fan of kanye west growing up in high school that's what i was a fan of with kanye was all of those things i just mentioned you know i feel like all those things i just mentioned though have been lost in today's kanye so Kanye, I don't know, are you there? Like, we're, we're waiting for you. We're listening. So with that being said, we do wish Kanye the best. Um, and I hope you all got something out of this reading. Thank you all so much for listening and watching. Definitely keep in touch with me by liking, sharing, subscribing, and checking out all my other social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, things of that nature. And if you would like your own personal reading, once again, do not hesitate to reach out. I am available at LamarTownsendTarot.com. You can also text me at 703-791-9162. I'm also available for international clients as well. Now, let's end out with a banger. All right? You know the song. Psychic with a T. The psychic with a T. That's me. That's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say. Let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say. Let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong. This tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong. This tarot card reading about to be long. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. 
When the planets align, spirit speaks on time That's me, that's me When the planets align, spirit speaks on time That's me, that's me When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong That's me, that's me When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong That's me, that's me All right, you guys, love and light. Have a good night, morning, evening, whenever you're listening or watching. And once again, we wish Kanye the best. All right, you guys, have a good one. I'll see you in the next video, or I'll see you in your own personal reading. Either way, I'll see you soon. Love and light.